Whoa. Oh, wow. That's really scary. So 20% of patients wait more than four hours to be seen in an A&E in my area. Um, and there's a 1.4 billion pound funding gap. That's pretty shocking, really. Just where I live, you've got about three or four quite large hospitals around, around the area within two miles. Um, so 18% is quite a, quite a lot for four hours wait or above, actually. So it's quite surprising, to be honest. Those are really scary testimonials that people have written. Uh, A&E is completely full and hasn't got any space. I mean, the A&E one's really worrying because in an emergency, if I mean, if they don't have the space, what is there? There's, there's nothing else. You know, when it's your family member or you that needs the, the help and the care, to not have a hospital bed is a really scary place. It does show really a lot cool. of people have That's a lot really of testimonies cool. that are actually getting neglected as well. So. But it's really interesting to actually see the numbers behind it and to be able to sort of localise it in your area. I think for my generation, um, we might not have an NHS in the future, which is quite concerning because what's there going to be for us in place? Um, and I think that it's really important that we do put more money back into it because there's going to be nothing left.